business owner. In this video, I'll be giving us a guide on how we can lock or dispute. I mean, when your customer is being debited, how you can lock for a refund. One, I'll be giving us a guide on how you can log it on the POS. Number two, on your mobile app, which is the Money Point mobile app. And the third one, which is the overall of them all, is how you can log via the website. Also, for extra, I will also be giving us a guide on how you can check for the status of this dispute so that you can what? You can check and give your customer the direct response for the dispute. Let me take you there. So, the first stage of dispute is this right here. Once you do that transaction, you see this. Just tap on the refund and you can fill the request refund from here. Now, if you are not able to do that instantly, here is another way you can do that. Just scroll down, look for history. Yeah, that's history. Tap on it. Really tap on history. You go to local history, then you check for the transaction. Once you see the transaction, let me show you. Let me show you. Once you see the transaction, just tap on it. Now you scroll down gently. Gently scroll down. Then you see where it's showing you request refund. You tap on request refund. And now here is where you have to put in the customer details. We have the customer phone number, recipient account number. You also what input the bank details of this customer. So let's let's try and do this. Let me show us. Let me input the phone number. I hope you are following me. Let's go. The account number of this customer now. Okay. Now, once you have done that, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now you click on submit. Now you input your terminal pin. As so you do that, you click on submit. And you have the prompt again that is showing refund request successful. So let's go to the next one now. Here's how you can do your synchronized transaction in case you are here to see any transaction on your history. Just go to admin and you locate synchronized transaction and you click on synchronize. Once you tap that, you see your terminal has been what successfully synchronized. So let's go back. Um, let's go to how you can do the log on your mobile app so once you log into your mobile app this is the mobile app dashboard now you see this option here showing pos just tap on it once you tap on it take you to another page where you will see view all you tap on view all you see withdrawal if you are using purchase you see purchase in your case now these are the transactions on the withdrawal so let's just tap on one so you can see now initiate refund this is the client transaction now you tap on initiate refund now this page now you have about four things to input here the business owner oh rather the customer name email phone number then the account number of the ATM card that was debited. Take note of that. Let's go. I hope you are still following me. Let's go now. You choose the bank. The bank is not listed here. You just click on view all to search through all banks and click the right one. So now once you successfully done all this, now you click on the submit and that's all for the mobile app let's go to the next one so here is the website so i'll put the link in the description below so you log into the website and once you're able to log in you see all your businesses so make sure you tap on the one that you have ps on and where the customer is being debited you tap on that account so you see this um three line all by the left here just tap on it to go to the menu so on the menu locate withdrawal 
if there is purchase on your terminal you see you can go to purchase so but for this terminal it is a withdrawal so as a type of withdrawal it takes you to transactions on the withdrawal here now you can filter you can check at least there for like two to three days i can check here i'll, I'll still take you through now you can check more than two to three days so tap on that transaction that has been debited now on that transaction we see where it's showing this put tap on this put you input the customer details here this place you are just inputting the account number of this uh, customer once you put the account number it takes you to where you input the bank once you do that you verify the name and you input the customer phone number let's check it out again so you input the customer phone number so once you're able to input the customer phone number you just tap on submit and you have a prompt like this showing you what refund request successful let's go to the next one so here is also how you can also filter now you want to filter for any day any day if you can even filter for one month ago six months ago one year ago so just tap on the date range then choose the custom once you choose the custom then you are now privileged to choose any date you want to choose so let's check for let's see let's see let's check for should we check for january okay let's do for january one to january let's see january three so let's see let's filter so once you click on apply filter below so you have option of also inputting the amount this will make the filter faster if you are very sure of the amount just put it there apply the filter and you will be there so yeah withdrawals for on the first to on the third of january of this particular date so if your transaction is here just tap on it just like the previous one i did you see the initiate refund and you proceed to submit it let's check for 2024 just for you to know that you can search for any dispute here even though the person is coming back after two years you still get it here let's go to 2024 let's go okay uh, let's let's choose let's go with may may 2024 you can see that this is like a year ago now let's also choose may yeah okay apply filter you can see right you can check for transaction way back one year ago now this is a five thousand dollar transaction let's see let's see i will show you something now you can see that for this transaction i can still look for the dispute if there's any issue with that transaction just simply the customer account number and the phone number and you submit and from back end they work on it within 48 hours you get a response on the log so i hope this also helps so now let's dive in to the final one now the final one now this is how you can check for the status of your dispute so you go to the menu as usual you locate the dispute you tap on it tap on the dispute and it will take you to this page so there are three types of disputes the p the one you log on your pos you find it here the one you log on the mobile app or on the website you find it here if you log with your atm card too, it's also there if you have an issue with atm card now these are the log that has been logged on this account on this account so yes i can read your log you have the first one here which is showing pending mean that the tra the log is still pending they are still working on it we have expired means that what it has been expired the best you go to the bank we have bank refund expired again the best you do what go to the bank and go and log if he or she has not received the money so you also have card 
and that is all so i hope this video helps you or now you can what successfully log for this put and check your status see you on the next one i'm daniel coyote